and I'll wait for my new sponsor. This episode of Film Learning is brought to you by AEGuys.com. If you like stylish After Effects templates covering a whole bunch of categories that all work with the latest version of After Effects that just so happen to be 100% free to download and use, be sure to visit AEGuys.com and check it out for yourself. What have you got to lose? It's free. For Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And it has been a while since I've done an audio voice effect, so I thought I'd do one today. And today's voice effect is going to be Godspeed from The Flash Season 5 and recently in Season 6. So in order to complete this voice effect, you have to do your best impression of Godspeed from The Flash. Here's my example. Do I make you horny, baby? Just roll the right one. Yes, I am a god. The god of speed. Not too shabby. Now, of course, you need a copy of Adobe Audition as well to complete this effect. Now, on top of Adobe Audition, I also use a VST plugin called Urkham Tracks V3. You can download a demo in the description. It's a little bit tricky to install and you don't have to install it for this voice effect, but it's just sort of a little cherry on top and it just makes it just sound a little bit better. But like I said, if you don't want to download it, you don't have to. The voice effect works without it. So you've got that. Record your voice in Adobe Audition and let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition and we have our example audio recorded and ready to go. So once again, let's listen to what that sounds like. Yes, I am a god. The god of speed. Not too bad as a base, but let's get to work. Firstly, let's right click on the audio file in the project window and send it to a new multi-track session. Name it whatever you want and hit OK. From there, we're going to grab two more instances of the audio file and drop them into tracks two and three. Done. So the first thing we're going to do is establish our hero track. This basically means that the actor's voice on this track remains essentially unchanged. That way, no matter how many effects we add to the other tracks, we can still clearly hear the original voice above it all. So to do that, we're going to boost the level on this track to plus four. And then we'll head to the effects rack head to special and grab vocal enhancer and set that to male. That's our hero track done, next track. So this one's going to be the lower pitch track that rumbles through Godspeed's voice, almost like a short echo. To do that, let's head to the effects rack, to modulation and to phaser, and from the drop down menu, we'll grab underwater and tweak it a little. We'll set the intensity to 50% and the mix to 40. That way it's not so harsh. Next up, Let's lower the pitch. Head back to the rack, head to time and pitch, and select pitch shifter. All I'm gonna do here is lower the pitch to minus four semitones and select high precision and hit okay. Now next step is optional gang, and it's only if you have Urkham Tracks V3 or have the demo of Urkham Tracks V3. Otherwise, you can just skip this. It's not integral to the effect. I'm gonna head to the rack once more, to VST plugins, and grab Tracks V3. Now all I'm going to do here is set the transpose to minus 5, the male to female to minus 25, and the young old to 50%. Let's now mute the third track and see how this sounds so far. Yes, I am a god. The god of speed. Getting there. Last track is a little bit similar to the second track, it's really just to give the vocals a little bit more personality. We'll unmute it so we can hear it and begin. Firstly, let's head to the rack. Time and pitch and add pitch shifter. This time, all I'm going to do is drop this to minus two semitones. Next, I'll head to modulation, to flanger or flanger, I'm never sure what it is. And from the drop down menu, we're going to grab robotic. Now let's have a listen to that. Yes, I am a god. The god of speed. Not bad at all. I mean, Godspeed's voice effect has varied on the show several times. It really just seems to depend on what he's actually saying, but that seems pretty close. It's kind of similar to Zoom and Rival as well, in my opinion. Let's now right click and mix down our entire session and hit OK. Now guys, if you just want to, you know, polish this one up a little bit more, you can add one more instance of vocal enhancer just to beef it up a bit. Yes, I am a god. The god of speed. And that, my friends, is another voice effect. Mm, done. 
Out of all those steps, and your voice goes from this? Yes, I am a god. The god of speed. Oh, uh, to this. Yes, I am a god. The god of speed. So guys, that is my take on a Godspeed voice from The Flash. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy voice to pull off with not that many steps. But for now guys, that is all I've got for you. If you did enjoy this voice effect and you want to request one of your own, leave it down in the comment section because I am tackling as many voice effects as I can this month because I am busy, busy, busy. So make sure if you do want a voice effect covered, leave it down in the comment section because I read them all. And guys, if you do enjoy the voice effect episodes, make sure you smash that like button because it really does help out. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've got all my social media stuff so you can keep up to date with the behind the scenes and just general things that spew out of my head just right here. We've also got a Patreon there if you want to check that out or you can join up with a YouTube membership by clicking that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.